Hello everyone, welcome back to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today we are reviewing the DN319 OBD2 Enhanced Code Scanner. So this is what you get in the box. You get the actual device. We're gonna go ahead and peel off the protective cover on the screen. So it's a nice blue device, very basic, very simple design. You have a quick start guide and you got the manual for different features. So if we open up the guide here, you can see different explanations on different uh, codes here. You can go through that whole list. It also tells you what different features do. It also shows you your IM readiness and if something's good to go for inspection or not. You have tool menu, different functions, it tells you how to use them. Here it shows you how to use your scan tool, which we're going to show you in the video, so you won't need to see that. And just general up and down different features on this. All right, let's get showing you guys a little closer here and let's go test this out all right everyone now once you're in your vehicle and to locate your ob port all you do is go down here and it's going to be down probably somewhere around the driver's side legs so it's going to look just like this a little plug like that so you go ahead take your plug here and it just simply plugs in. If you can't get it in, then that means you have it upside down. Once you plug it in, you're good to go. So it's gonna come on as soon as you plug it in your port. Um, what you wanna do now is go ahead and take your keys, place it in the ignition, turn it, just turn it to the on position. So once, it, once it's just on the on position, you can go ahead and now, you got your battery, DTC lookup, settings, diagnose. So now we're gonna go ahead, let's check the battery out first. You just move around by going here, and you press okay then. So it's 12.2 volts. And that's because our vehicle is not on. If we would go ahead and start the vehicle, it would drop down. Then we can just go back. Let's go to diagnose. So now it's gonna go through the whole system. And this is not just for people that have check engine lights. This is for other people who wanna monitor their battery or monitor everything to see if there's a code pending for inspection or whatnot. So you don't have to have a check engine light. So here it goes ahead and shows. We can read codes, stored codes. Now we have no codes on the vehicle. We can see if there's anything pending. So if something's pending, that means there's a problem. It just hasn't thrown an issue yet. So that's good. You can erase codes, you can do live data. Now if you're doing live data, make sure you have your vehicle turned on. You can do freeze frame, you can check your vehicle information we can do I am readiness mode 6 O2 sensor and component test let's go ahead and do I am readiness so this we will be able to see if everything is good to go for inspection and check this out everything is so that's a good thing so now we know if we take it to the garage they shouldn't have any problems with with anything now let's try mode 6 and test all these different things. O2 sensor test. So it's not supportive of that. Let's do component test. Okay, so we can't do those. So with the DTC lookup, you can then enter your vehicle and you can find, if you have a code, you can go under more stuff. So we're just going to go under generic. 
and then you can enter whatever code you have whatever it would come up as and then it would come up you know the issue and it would help you solve that problem but under settings you can go and you can see languages unit data logging and self test and then system information so self test display test that just tests your screen to make sure everything's good all right so with that being said it's a simple OB design and it's a nice design it's handy it's lightweight it's good for many different applications as you can see I think you'll be very happy with the